We just installed Vista on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Boing Boing TV. I'm Shenny Jardin and I'm here at Tech Shop and this is the founder of Tech Shop, Jim Newton. Tell us about what Tech Shop is. Well, Tech Shop is a public access membership based workshop that people can uh, come into and work on their projects and be part of the community of people that are also making things. And so what's the benefit uh, of, of coming here as opposed to say just tinkering on whatever in your own garage? If you are lucky enough to have your own equipment set up, you're still working by yourself. So just the idea of exchanging ideas right. and skills. We have a lot of really cool tools and equipment as well that you wouldn't have in your garage. Well, show me some of what's sure. going on. Let's go take a look. Okay. This is the CNC plasma cutter. It takes a swirl of compressed air and electrical current and actually creates a flame. Now look at what we see here on the computer. This looks kind of familiar. So, uh, there's something there. I'm not sure what this artifact is we're getting here. Why, well, I, I think it spells boing boing. <laughs> it's more about learning how to use the computer than it is learning how to use the machine. Like the plasma cutting itself is pretty straightforward. There's like one knob and the height, and you're pretty much good to go. But getting the computer to play nice is like, we just installed Vista on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that. Can I bang some out with the hammer? Here you go. Awesome. Beautiful. This is where the G-code normally runs. This is this is oh. G-code. This is G-code. <laughs> this is actual G-code. <laughs> From a long time ago. Wow. This, is what the, this is what the machines used to use. So in some ways, you guys are kind of dealing with retro technology oh, here. Oh, totally. This is one of the neatest pieces in here. This is the three-dimensional printer. This basically forms things. You, again, you build it in a CAD program, but then you can form it. Uh, basically, and it comes out as a three-dimensional thing. I see one practical project right here. This, this looks like my kind of creation because I think it involves chocolate and <laughs> it coffee. Does. What you have to do is you have to smack ah. it. And unfortunately, the process is not 100% efficient. Okay, okay. This looks beautiful. What is it? Well, thank you. This is a piece of sculpture. It's called Auroboros, and you'll see why I called it that when I print it on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fantastic. When I came to Tech Shop, we needed to quickly re-engineer our product, and I used all the equipment here to do it. It probably saved me 90% of my development costs. This isn't just about a place to hang out and have fun. In some cases, this is about generating businesses, incubating inventions. Absolutely. This is a, a Christmas pyramid project I did. I made five of these for family members this last Christmas here at Tech Shop, and I did it all on the laser cutter. That is a crazy machine. I'm working on an art project that my uh, myself and my brother are hoping to put up. There's almost never a time that I've come here that I haven't come away with more good ideas than I came in with. There's so many creative people here doing interesting things. This device is used to plot uh, on vinyl. Then what we're going to do is peel the backing off of it and go apply it to whatever we'd uh, like to stick it to. Jason's car. Woo! All right! <laughs> that is one pimped out Ford. <laughs> And this is an electric car that is, you've made here. Yes, yeah, electric car we've that we've made. I'm actually coming here to add even more features to it um, at the tech shop. I've already gotten some more ideas while we're <laughs> while waiting to be filmed. This one has all the latest high-tech features. Two of these motors are put in series with really even higher-end batteries than this. It's only 600 pounds. It's very safe. The regeneration also adds safety so the brakes never wear out. It also has a 10 gallon tank with the light, light in the back. It's one-third the insurance of a normal car. State Farm is more than happy to insure this for me. Could we oh, you want to see that? Drive it oh, sure. It actually has a... We actually... It's, it's going to have, have less noise once we actually get a higher speed. speed. Yeah, this makes you feel like you're riding a motorcycle even though you're in a car. I'm into bikes, so I make electric um. bikes. So being in there, I feel like, like I'm in, in, in hog heaven and all that. You can put your feet up there, I don't mind. <laughs> so that means my, my brakes are really nice, but I hardly never need to use them. That means it's a, a very safe car. They were worried I was going to go too fast in the thing, so they backed it off and now we can handle the higher speeds. But it has a, kind of a interesting sound. I think people, we didn't use any brakes in that run that I just did where I went by. We didn't use any brakes. When I was, when I let off the throttle, when I let off the accelerator. This is great. Came, and, uh, we're, and so we're going to have heating in this thing. So we're going to, but during, this is perfect for today. We don't, I don't, who needs the thing? We have the sunroof here. <laughs> Quite a sunroof. And this is a really fun vehicle. It cra it, it, I think it's already attracted a lot of people. Again, that's why my voice is hoarse. Jason, are there more specific shots that you'd like to get from us? 